Ready? Three, two, one. Welcome, Welcome to, to Goa! Goa. So we have come to our hotel, uh, technically it's like a bed and breakfast, it's called Highland Home Budget, there's a budget in it so you know it's not that expensive. Anyway, since we arrived really early, currently it's like 10am, um, they are not allowed us to check in yet, so we just have to wait another hour or so until they clean up the room, they organise everything well and then we can check out. So right now we're still deciding whether to go with the tour that hotel provided or we just like book another separate tour the lighting is good guys and the weather is beautiful no smoke no lot no loud noises from the car motorbike tuk tuk and everything so i think we're going to really enjoy this town so we just hired a scooter and Katie is testing it at the moment. It costs 400 rupiah for one scooter and there are three of us so one of us will have to sit down and I don't think it will be me. So where does she go? Um, by the way, the room is ready so after this we have to lo relocate to our room and then happy napping. Oh she's back. <laughs> Good? Not so good? Finally, we are checked in and the room is not too bad but you know what, normally I would take the single bed, right? But look at this one, it's super small, it wouldn't fit me vertically or horizontally so my lovely friend right here happy to switch with me and I give you like a quick update, look, it's just so small it's barely fit her at all. <laughs> right now they're deciding to order lunch here. And let me give you a tour of the bathroom. Hey, hello. Oh, really nice. Look at that. Better than my own bathroom at home. Hello, earlier we took a bike ride. Katie was the driver from our hotel to the gas station. So we need to fill up some gas. And then we go into the post office to put some um, postcard back home. Anyway, she's filling up the gas at the moment. Guys, it was so much fun riding the bike here. The traffic is not as bad as um, it is in, you know, like Bombay or Hyderabad or in Delhi. So it's easy to drive if you know how to drive a scooter. Plus there is no small and less crowded. So yeah, you know, like take some fresh air, get a scooter out and drive it along the road. We made it to the park office. <laughs> it was quite a long ride, 10 minutes, but yeah. Okay, here we go. See you in 10 days, I guess. Whoa, that's quite fast. Oh. Oh. What? It took us for like 45 minutes just to get the stamp and then buy some soft drink. She's the best. I feel like I am on like amazing race or something. <laughs> Back to the room. So by the way, this is our view. Not too bad. I think we are on the second floor. As you can see, there's a lot of coconut tree over there. 
This is just like a normal quiet village view for you guys. This one is, what is it, kingfish? Kingfish, butter lemon, and some steak, chicken, chips, and some rice. Dinner time! Lunch! <laughs> As you can see behind me, my friend Lang, we are preparing to go to the beach and go to do some sightseeing in North Goa. The sun is so bright, it's a beautiful day. We plan to go and have a swim. I cannot wait to be honest. I got my sunscreen on and everything. Let's go. Come. <laughs> do it again. Oh, fast and furious. Right now we are reviewing fuel again. Two bikes. The next destination that I plan, actually we plan to go is called Four Pillars. It's going to take 15 minutes from here to the other side. It's actually really nice. I saw the picture. Ready? Let's go. at the four pillars area. I don't know if you can see over there. The white four pillars right there. We, uh, we drove past them. But right now we're just gonna like, you know, take a break and bring in some fresh air. It's so beautiful here. It reminds me of a province in Cambodia called Kokong. It looks 90% the same. So <laughs> they are ready for some photo right now. Okay, let's go. There's a lot of mangroves around here. See, you've got some gentlemen fishing around here. So it's probably a lot of fishes at the end. We don't know. According to Google Map, we have arrived at Fontaine Pass. F O N T A I N H A S. So we're going to park the scooters and have a walk around over here. So I believe the chapel behind me is called. St. Sebastian Chapel and yes, we're just going to explore the village It's 5 p.m. Guys, look inside, it's so beautiful. I'm not sure if we're allowed to go in But look at that First time seeing a cat in India. But a lot of the time you see like stray dogs. Oh look at him grooming himself. Look at him grooming himself. Oh, oh nope, just licking his junk. From what we have read during our research, this entire area is called Panaji Conservation Area. So as you can see, there's a lot of old architecture from the um, Portuguese colonization back then, you know, hundreds of years ago. So right now we're just like taking our time, having a stroll along the street and digest all the beauties of the architecture. It definitely reminds me of some area in Cambodia, Phnom Penh in particular. Oh, look at this one, right? So nice. Do you see the, um, the name of the house? That's so nice. arrived to the Immaculate Conception Church and 
As you can see, the sun is setting and it gives this orange hues to the white church, which is so beautiful. Look, we came at the right time. If you were to come during like, you know, morning when we arrived, or in the afternoon, it would not be this beautiful. I think this is the best lighting for the church. One of the most interesting about Goa in general is that um, it was under the Portuguese colonization rather than the British one and a lot of people here are Christian rather than Hindu or Muslim so that's why you see here a lot of the time we come here and then you see like we go around and see like churches and everything because of the you know Christianity that is very dominant in this area oh the lighting oh the sun well, 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 unfortunately our time at the church has been cut short because of, you know, the lighting and the lateness that we came here, but we really enjoy it. Um, obviously, we're going to do more research about the area and stuff. Um, our next destination is Mirama Beach. I hope I said that right. Um, apparently, they have like good beach over there. A lot of people will go there for a swim or like hanging out. So it will take about 10 minutes from here from what I search on Google Map. It could be lying. So hopefully we get there in time, find a place to park and have a swim. I just realized that they have like a grapefruit tree next to the church. Look, oh yum. 